Our topic for today is 7.3 Magnetism. Okay, these are your, what you are going to learn from this subtopic. Okay, magnet. Okay, magnet come from the lodestone. Okay, a natural weak magnet. A human made magnet also is made out of metallic alloys, okay, which are stronger than a natural magnet. Okay, properties of magnet. It has magnetic field, has two poles, north and south. Like poles will repel, unlike poles will attract. Always point to the north-south direction when suspended freely and also produce magnetic force. Okay, the magnetic field. An area around a magnet has a magnetic force. Okay, a, a north and south pole is the strongest. Okay, then the magnetic field has pattern and direction. Okay, pattern, the magnetic field lines do not cross the lines, are closer to each other at both poles due to stronger magnetic force. And the direction, the magnetic field lines always point out of the north pole and point into south pole. So, this is south pole and this is north pole. Okay. Magnetic field lines point out of the North Pole and point into the South Pole. So here you can see the pattern. Okay, the lines is uh, like this, while here the line is closer. Okay, because the North Pole and the South Pole has a stronger magnetic force compared to the um, magnetic force here. Okay, let's say we have two magnets okay north facing north like this okay here at the center we call it as neutral point why is neutral point there is no magnetic field at the neutral points why a magnetic field between two light poles will produce a neutral region x which is free from the effect of any magnetic force the magnetic field lines begin from the north pole and end at the south pole okay begin here and we move to the south okay, enter here magnetic field lines are closer to one another where the magnetic field is stronger so if the magnetic field is closer like this okay, means that they are stronger okay, compared to the one here okay. and then compass can show the pattern and direction of the magnetic field if you put a compass here you can see the direction of the compass Okay, the direction means the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, and then this is the example of the neutral point. Magnetic field lines. Okay, this is the example of lines. Okay, you must draw, you must know how to draw, yeah. So north to south. Then this one north out from the magnet. So it become like this. And here south. The magnetic field must enter. Okay, electromagnet. An electromagnet is an electric conductor such as straight wire. A coil wire or a solenoid, solenoid becomes a temporary magnet when an electric current flows through the conductor. Okay, this is the power supply. Uh, this is the straight wire. Okay, and then this one, uh, coil wire connected to the power supply and then this is the solenoid solenoid okay then on here we put the iron filings okay because we want to see the pattern of the magnetic field okay this is example okay power supply the battery connect to the switch the nail then the wire here okay and then by doing this you can produce a magnetic force Okay, the pins will attract to the nail okay, electromagnet the strength of the magnetic field of an electromagnet depends on the amount of the electric current that flows through the magnet means if the current flows through the electromagnet is higher okay means that the magnetic field will become stronger the larger the electric current that flows through the electromagnet the stronger that the magnetic field that is produced when no electric current flows through the electromagnet, the electromagnet loses all its magnetic properties. So for the magnetic fields around a straight wire, 
okay that's have the electric current you can see the shape looks like this okay the pattern of the magnetic field depend on the shape of the conductor used for example magnetic field lines produced by a straight wire and a coil wire are concentric circle okay looks like circle magnetic field lines are closer where the magnetic field is stronger okay if the line is closer means that the field the magnetic field is stronger the strength of the magnetic field reduces as it moves away from the center of the conductor okay if it is if the magnetic field is far away from the center of the conductor okay the uh, the strength will less okay will reduce okay will become weaker the pattern of the magnetic field produced is not affected by the direction of the current uh, that flows through the conductor okay the pattern of the magnetic field does not affected by the direction of the current that flows direction of the magnetic field is determined by the direction of the electric current okay direction of the magnetic field determined by the direction of the electric current okay pattern pattern didn't affect or didn't change but the direction will change Okay, now we can use the right hand grip rule. Okay, as you can see in diagram 7.9, uh, 7.29, the right hand grip rule is used to determine the direction of the magnetic field around the straight wire carrying electric current. Okay, the thumbs, okay, you can try on your own. The thumb points towards the direction of the electric current. Okay, your thumbs represent the electric current. And then the finger wrapped around strap, uh, straight wire points to the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, so your fingers will represent the direction of magnetic fields. The larger the electric current, the stronger the magnetic fields. The bigger the number of coils, the stronger the magnetic fields. Okay, determine the direction of magnetic fields. Okay, direction of current. Okay, to the top. Then do like this. The thumb face uh, is upward like this. And the finger shows the magnetic fields okay this one is uh, counterclockwise and this one if the direction of current is down like this then the magnetic field is clockwise okay this is right hand grip rule okay solenoid what is solenoid solenoid is like this this is an example of solenoid Solenoid polarity can be determined by observing the direction of the current flow. The current that flows in the anti-clockwise direction is the north pole. The anti-clockwise is the north pole. Whereas the current that flows clockwise is the south pole. Okay, the current will flow from positive. Okay, current will flow from positive to negative. So as you can see in the photo here. Okay, the positive, okay, positive here, uh, look at the arrow, you can see the arrow. And then, if it is uh, anti-clockwise, okay, anti-clockwise means that the direction is north, okay, here, this one. And here, the direction is clockwise, so south. Straight wire, this is the pattern of the magnetic field. Coil wire, pattern of the magnetic field. Okay. Okay. Uh, electric currents from here. Okay. Then to here, down here. Solenoid. Okay. Look, we look like this the magnetic field. One here, one here, and the, at the center you can see a straight line. Okay. The magnetic field here is straight line. Okay, this is the solenoid. Okay, reverse current just now current to the top this one current to the bottom okay reverse current okay if the current flow to the bottom like this so the direction will change direction of the magnetic field also will change but the patterns will remain like this and also same goes to the coil wire opposite lah. okay opposite application of magnet magnet on the door to ensure that a door is always stays open and prevent the door the door from banging against the wall. Okay, magnetic chairs to ensure that the magnetic 
chest pieces do not fall from the board. Compass to determine direction of location or movement of object including human. Electromagnetic, electromagnetic crane to transport iron and other steel loads such as cars and containers. Electric bell uses and electromagnet to turn on the ringing bell. Loudspeaker used to change the electric current to sound in a system of loudspeaker and bullet train. Use an electromagnet to produce the force to move. Okay, then uh, I hope you have done doing this formative practice 7.3.